A Thika businessman has donated washable sanitary towels to over 200 girls from Kisiwa and Karibaribi primary schools in Thika West sub-county. While speaking to 3T TV, Patrick Foro Kimani explained that his actions were necessitated by the realization that most of these girls in the area faced numerous challenges during their periods, forcing some of them to apply unorthodox means or even missing out on school altogether. Foro added that his visit also revealed a need to assist the boy child who also needed some basics such as underwears and soap. These donations were from a group from the United States through a Nairobi-based company called Essa Safaris and Adventures. Uh, my name is Patrick Forokimani, uh, a resident or um, a resident of Kalivarithi. I do business in Thika Town. In my interactions with them, with these institutions, I've realized there's a need. Uh, there's a need for for basic uh, facilities, particularly from the, for the girls. The sanitary towels is a challenge because most of their parents, they are casual laborers in the neighboring. Uh, coffee plantations, they are casual workers, and because of the COVID pandemic, they have been hard hit economically. That's, uh, you find even they are not even able to provide for the basics, leave alone now the sanitary and uh, other hygienic uh, uh, issues. Uh, being told they are girls who normally use very odd uh, methods to control their, their hygienic uh, issues. And I've talked to uh, friends far and wide, uh, and we have some friends from Nairobi who got in touch with uh, a group from uh, the U.S. It's called ESA, Safaris and Adventures, and uh, they have provided um, reusable sanitary towels because of the cost implications. Uh, we started from Kisiwa Primary School. We have given um, over 150 girls the, the, the reusable sanitary towels, and now we are here at Karibaribi Primary, uh, where we've distributed to over 70 girls. Uh, and we've also realized that um, there's a hue and cry of uh, the boy child also. They also, they also want to, to be provided with the uh, boxers because you find some of them are even, uh, they don't even own one. And the, cl uh, the class teacher is quite concerned that they send that appeal. So the next round or our appeal next time will be for the boy child. Uh, right now at least we've taken care of the girls. Each got a bag. The bag contains eight pieces of the reusable sanitary towels such that a girl can use for the period she be um, in, that, uh, in that condition. She can use those uh, towels for the whole month and then wash them until the other cycle of the next month. So we call upon everybody out there to assist and to partner with us. So whatever we can as individuals, as groups, as a, as a community, let's chip in and make uh, the life of these uh, pupils comfortable so that we can also get good grades and uh, brighter kids. My name is Gloria, I come from Nairobi and uh, I work at ESSA Safaris. So today we decided to give them as a gift so that at least it will help them. Sometimes these girls get uh, challenges they don't know what to do. They don't know where to get the sanitary wares. It's been a challenge to the girl child, especially people, uh, children who come from unfortunate families. So this, this will help them. There are eight pieces inside. They are washable. They ha there is a disposable bag inside. It will help them for a very long time. The, the material is very comfortable. So. After, reuse, after using, they wash it, they hang. So this thing, it will keep them for months and months compared to going to the shops and getting these uh, sanitary pads, whereas they don't have that money. Teachers who spoke to 3T TV held this gesture and called on more well-wishers to come on board in order to save these children from these challenges that affected their learning. They added that most of these children hail from very poor backgrounds a situation that was worsened by the fact that most of the coffee farms where their parents used to work as casual laborers had now been closed. My name is Monica Dirango, 
head teacher Kisiwa Primary School, a school in Thika town. This afternoon, we have received sanitary towel from well wishers, which will help us because some of these parents may not even afford to buy the sanitary towel. The children come from relatively poor backgrounds because most of the parents do many jobs like washing clothes for the people who live around, picking coffee around, and others are employed by the flower plantations. So the children do not have uh, enough uh, to cater for their needs. That even the sanitary towels that the government gives, they may not be enough because sometimes children report that when they go home with these sanitary towels, they have to share with their mothers, with their elder sisters, even with their aunties. So we still find girls coming and telling us whatever you gave us is already finished. So it is a challenge. So when we see a well-wisher coming in and uh, giving us that extra pad, it will take us a long way. We are happy that these sanitary towels will carry these girls throughout this uh, term. And we have seen when these children are supported, they perform uh, very well. I would also appeal that as we remember the girl child, we do something about the boy child because the boy child is left behind. Uh, some of them may not have a good uniform and that one demoralizes them. So you find the girls are performing very well because they have that confidence. Next time when uh, someone comes to donate sanitary tiles to the girls, come with something for the boy child. For example, you can come with a bathing soap. You can arrange, organize, maybe the boy child can have a haircut so that they also feel appreciated and they are not left behind because when they are taken care of, because we are talking about hygiene, they get that confidence and they perform well in their studies. So let us also think about the boy child and also we think about how we can support them to join Form 1. Uh, from Kalibali Primary School, an advocacy teacher, in this school, that is the, my area, and I also deal with their well-being. What I can say is uh, our pupils come from very happy backgrounds because most of them come from the neighboring coffee estates. The parents uh, are casual laborers. Their income has been compromised, especially during this COVID. They are not able to meet the basic needs of these young ones. They have had a lot of challenges and one of it being uh, the sanitary tires. And now you have come up with a disposable or usable sanitary tires. You are going to help these pupils a lot, and especially the parents who cannot afford. They are expensive as we know, but this one at least, they are going to help them because they can use them, wash them, and they are going to benefit. They have a lot of challenges, surely, but at least this one, this one of the area that makes some of them even not attend school. Some use even tissue paper. So you just feel that these pupils need something like this. You have given them what they needed. This is what is fit for Calivari Beach children. Remind that the next time that I get somebody to help the girls, please think about the boy child. Ata wakona shida sana. Wadikuwa nataka kuna kakitu yetu. Nika wauliza, I had to tell them and preempt that it's about the pads. Nika wuliza pads sin is a girls. Na sisi ticha. So please next time think about the boy child. Ata wakona tea two box, a gotha, wana seta gotha. Gotha. We shall be grateful.